Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my October 2023 book haul. This is all the books that I purchased in the month of October. I exclude books that I actually read in the month of October because I talk about those in like um, uh, either TBRs or in reviews and stuff. So uh, this is just the books that I bought that I didn't actually read because I'd have like one or two or more books than this. But anyway, I have nine books and it's an interesting assortment. There's there's some unique unique ones in here. Some some are totally, totally like me, um, but some of the unique ones as well. So uh, let's go ahead and start, start with the first book uh, I bought, which is Onto the Asteroid by Travis S. Taylor and Les Johnson. This is a book from Bain Books, and I bought this book because of Les Johnson. I interviewed him at Dragon Con uh, this year. He was delightful. And I decided to try to buy his books. Now, some of his books I am getting for uh, a present eventually, and so I didn't buy those. But this is the second book in a series that he did, uh, a two-book series that he and Travis Taylor did. And it is a hard science fiction book. Um, when I read the premise of the first book and this book, I was like, this kind of reminds me of For All Mankind in a, in a way, that, that type of science fiction that I enjoy. So I very much look forward to reading onto the asteroid. I got it for very cheap as well, which was really nice. I also got Star Trek The Ashes of Eden by William Shatner. I have been told that I need to read the Shatner verse books, but I've just never gotten around to it. And I just, every time I go to the bookstore, I'm like, there's another Star Trek book I want to buy. No, there's another Star Trek book I want to buy. And it's never the William Shatner stuff. Well, this time I went to the bookstore... <coughs> And said, you know what, I actually want to buy the William Shatner one this time. So I bought The Ashes of Eden, and hopefully I'll enjoy it and get the uh, rest of the Shatnerverse uh, books. It's not too long. It's also a pretty quick book. It's, it's, it follows in the, the style, the vein of short Trek books that are out there. So the next book I bought is from David Weber, and that is Off Armageddon Reef, uh, the first book in his Safe Hold series. This is a kind of fantasy science fiction series that he did with Tor books. You know, David Weber is most known for his Honor Harrington series over at Bain, and he's done a ton of books with Bain. I would say if there's any author that I would call the flagship author of Bain books, it's David Weber. And so the fact that he does have a series with Tor is surprising. Um, and it's actually quite funny that when you hear, you know, he talks about working with both of them a lot. But uh, when I was at the when I was with the Bane people, they would poo-poo uh, Tor when it would come up. So it's kind of funny. But this is the first book in this series. <laughs> and surprisingly, many bookstores in my area have these books. So um, I'll probably be able to get this whole set in paperback, maybe in a few hardcovers, but mostly in paperback whenever they're, um, uh, when it, whenever I get to them. Uh, if I enjoy this first one, I'll certainly buy more. This is a longer one. This is a tome. It's about, you know, 750 pages. So it's a longer book. So I'm, I'm, I'm no, don't plan on reading it quite yet, but I'll read it eventually. Next, I bought two Star Wars books that are from the Jedi Apprentice series. I read the uh, the uh, the Jedi Apprentice series, a couple of books in it when I was a kid, back before I really cared for reading, back when it was like a requirement at library that you had to pick out books, and I picked them out because they had Star Wars, and I remember enjoying them, but I'm slowly trying to buy more, and they're really hard to find, and so whenever I see any books in the series, I just snatch them up. So I found book one a few uh, last month, uh, and then this month I surprisingly found two more books. I found book two and book 17. Book 2 is titled The Dark Rival by Jude Watson, and book 17 is titled The Only Witness, also by Jude Watson. All but the first book were written by her. Uh, David F uh, Dave Wolverton wrote the first one, and then she wrote, Jude Watson wrote the rest. And so I'll get to these eventually. I'm not going to start the series until I've collected more, like books like 3, 4, 5, like when, when I have more in the, the scope, but I'm, I'm getting close eventually. And then once I read them, I'll put them in my... Um, uh, classroom for my students to read. I'm sure they will love them, and it's right on the level of my fifth graders. I also got another Star Wars book. This one's more also kind of middle grade, and that's Join the Resistance by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. And from what I understand, I think they wrote like two or three of these books, so I'm interested in 
seeing if I can collect all of them. I saw this for fairly cheap at the local books used bookstore, and um, I don't really know that much about this series, so I'm interested to see. If you've read this, let me know your thoughts. If you've read any of these books, let me know your thoughts down below. I also have a Star Trek book that is More Beautiful Than Death by David, David Mack. This is one of the books set in the Kelvin timeline. And uh, the story behind these books is that there were four books originally planned to re release soon after the first Kelvin movie, uh, the Star Trek movie. And then, for a few reasons, the series got canceled. And so, or not the series, the, the books got canceled. And so they just got canned. They were all written, or at least partially written, and they were just all canceled. And two of the authors, from what I understand, kind of revamped some of their stuff into other novels. But two of the authors were able to actually, 10 years later, they were supposed to come out in like 2010. Now they're coming, they came, ended up coming out in 2020. They were able to revamp them into uh, uh, novels in the trade paperback format instead of mass market. One of those I read and reviewed on the channel, which was The Unsettling Stars by Alan Dean Foster. And then this one is More Beautiful Than Death by David Mack. David Mack is always interesting. He is not uh, a favorite, and sometimes I don't like his books, but he's generally someone that I'm interested in reading. So that's more beautiful than death. Next is a new release that is the big one that everyone in the fantasy sci-fi community is talking about, and that is Yumi and the Nightmare Painter by my favorite author, Brandon Sanderson. Um, not my favorite cover art, but it's okay. Um, uh, I've heard that this is from uh, like some of pe some people's favorite uh, book in the, the in the um, the secret projects. Uh, and I really enjoyed Tress of the Emerald Sea, and I like that. I loved that one. And then I, I did enjoy, but it wasn't great, the um, uh, Frugal Wizard's Handbook to Surviving Medieval England. So I'm hoping that this is one of his best. I've heard comparisons to Warbreaker, and if that's the case, I'm sure I'm going to love it. So I'm really excited to read this book. And then the final book I bought is a nonfiction book. This is very unlike me to get nonfiction, but I decided to get a nonfiction book. And that is Douglas Brunt's The Mysterious Case of Rudolf Diesel, The Genius Power and Deception on the Eve of World War I. He has an interesting book podcast that I sometimes listen to. And his wife is actually the political commentator, Megan Kelly. Um, uh, and this one, it just caught my eye. And I was like, you know, I haven't bought nonfiction in a while. I want to get some nonfiction and start reading that again. Um, don't know if I'll review that on the channel necessarily, um, unless you guys really want me to. Let me know in the, down in the comments if you want me to get into this nonfiction type stuff. But uh, I thought I'd get it and eventually read it. So those are the books that I purchased in the month of October 2023. Not a, ter not a terribly large amount. It's a, it's a uh, uh, kind of replacing what I'm reading. So that's a good, that's a good number to have when I'm replacing what I'm reading. Uh, so I usually read about 10 books a month. So I bought nine books, not including the ones that I read this month. So I'm eager to, to continue that trend. So until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching. Ah!